began way back uh, in 1982, I would say, where uh, I started off as uh, a young apprentice in uh, the field of fashion design, which was a core uh, um, element of uh, a hobby for me. From where I think the journey became pretty serious and I took up uh, fashion design as a very, very serious vocation for my, for my uh, career, my future ahead. And uh, I think uh, uh, life is not uh, hunky-dory, uh, you know, when you sort of get into uh, a career. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, um, I think for me it was all part of a huge journey, a huge travel, a huge experience that uh, taught me a lot uh, through the years. And um, I, I guess it's the experience more than, you know, the, the uh, academic training and the physical um, uh, I would say um, work uh, procedure that gave me a lot of uh, um, experience, a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. on the entire subject. And today, um, from where I stand and where I look back, I think every year has been a, a learning experience and uh, has taught me fantastically about the kind of work that I do. And I am very happy to say that, you know, in any kind of uh, uh, situation of crisis within the work parameters, uh, I know exactly what to do and I know exactly how to handle the kind of work that I do. Apart from that, I think creativity is an aspect that uh, uh, is a very important uh, part and parcel of this entire uh, vocation, mm -hmm. which uh, um, I guess uh, has been a training for me ever since I started working on films whereby it taught me how to um, um, work around a, a character, a script, and a background, or even work on a garment uh, if there was a stress situation on set. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, uh, this not only gives you the confidence, but also uh, gives you a way forward as to how and where can you take your career and how high can you take your career graph. So I would say I only have got to thank for all the kind of work and effort that I've put in. And uh, I guess it's something that uh, I wish and hope for every apprentice who is uh, wanting to be in the field of fashion mm -hmm. to be able to experience because it's been a fantastic journey. Uh, designing wasn't that predominant at the time when I uh, sort of uh, entered the industry, though it was becoming an awareness with people around because there were designers like Xerxes Bathena and um, Himan Sruedi who started the entire revolution, revolution of uh, fashion statements uh, per se for a look maybe. At that point in time it was Parveen Babi with a gold gown which Xerxes had designed or uh, Hawa Hawaii for that matter of fact with Sri Devi. But it was all about the, the vibrant and the exuberance of costuming in the, in the early 80s that uh, they became very popular with. And uh, coming from a technical background where one has studied fashion and uh, you know, uh, for me, films was a completely different ball game because uh, fashion was one aspect where you work according to what your technical uh, capabilities, where your creative capabilities and your aesthetic capabilities are all put into force. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to fashion, uh, uh, in films, it's more about costuming. So it's, it's more about technical capabilities, creative capabilities, and the capabilities of creating an apparent illusion of uh, probably height or slimness or a particular look that is very, very predominant in the entire film and that gets carried forward. A uh, film is a big medium uh, for a lot of viewers and a lot of fashion uh, expressionists, as you may say, of followers who would like to express themselves in a different way. And um, they do look at film stars and they look at the look of a film that probably would create a look for them which which they can identify with and which they could sort of make part of their own wardrobe and lifestyle. Thus, uh, uh, trying to be able to create that balance of uh, films, and I, I would say way back in the 80s, film clothes were called filmy, uh, which uh, nobody wanted to relate to. There was a kind of a social stigma. We would have a lot of clients who would come in and say, you know, um, yeah, we've come to you for a garment, but uh, we don't want anything filmy, you know, don't, don't make us filmy. Uh, and then with a lot of discussion and everything, would voluntarily say that, 
you know the, the, the blouse that you made for Juhi Chawla and Aina, the off shoulder, can you make us that? Or we would like Sri Devi's gown color. Uh -huh. So there was a definite uh, retrospect of um, a film background which came up slowly and gradually. But uh, through this time, I would say the awareness has been so tremendous and uh, so fantastic uh, that films is, create, uh, is become a genre of uh, being the biggest medium of fashion statements today. And uh, today a client would come to you and blatantly said, say, you know, neither your uh, garment in Jodha Akbar, can you make me the same garment and probably this color. Uh, and uh, I want this kind of, I want the identical costume. So they don't make any qualms about saying that to you anymore. Um, and uh, films has become not only an experience, a visual experience, but uh, a, a treat to be able to identify not only with costumes and with a look, but even with a lifestyle that they follow. Uh, where back in, in you know, the 80s or 90s would you have uh, families which are not North Indian mm -hmm. uh, having like a Sangeet or a Mata Ki Chauki and today every family has it uh, whether you are a North Indian or a South Indian or a Maharashtrian it doesn't matter and that's how united I would say um, cultures have become with and I would say this is mainly because of films whereby you know you identify with a lifestyle you identify with the look of a actor or an actress who you identify with or you sort of epitomize and uh, yeah, it's been fantastic uh, to see this kind of change and to see the kind of, uh, um, you know, change in the perception of films vis-a-vis -vis fashion, which is uh, something that's very different from films.